you know, I, I really just want to get a feel for, I guess, your story, you know, and, and in a way, people say your origin story. So I want to know how you became who you are. Um, what was your name? Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, could you explain that to us, please? Well, yeah, I know so. Um, all my life, uh, all my life I've been bullied. I've been bullied. I'm kind of a small guy. Oh, oh. I've been... Oh. Oh. I've been bullied, you know, and I, I looked around and I thought, what do I want to be when I grow up? And, you know, since I, I've been bullied all my life, I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just be an Indian because they're used to it. And, um, you know, just like being bullied, if I'm going to be bullied as an adult. Now, it's like not cool to be a mascot. I just want to be cool. How did you get your feathers to stay so healthy? They just, they just shine. How did, I, I don't know how you do that. Like, how did you get this to be so healthy and black? Um, my mom, she's good at crafts. She goes around and does craft tours and stuff. And so, um, you know, like a traditional Indian family, you know, my mom, she showed me how to do this. We grew up in these ways, like that. It's beautiful. Thanks. Could I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, uh, how about you? Uh, what was your name? Tommy Tomahawk. Tommy Tomahawk. Tommy Tomahawk. I should call him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have strange braids. They look almost like this Hasidic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> strange. <laughs> okay, that's better. Uh, you down there on the end, Chester. Uh, you know, the joke is uh, everyone, all the, at least all the uh, Native American studies groups across the, the nation, they call you Chester, Chester the Child Molester because they say you have this strange look about you in your face. Your eyes kind of always look, I don't know, just that some way. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you want to respond to that. I, I can't help the way I look. I was born this way. I, I don't know what more you want me to say about that. Okay, well just tell us about your beginnings. How did you start out? Oh, uh, my beginnings. Well, uh, it started out kind of like uh, kind of like a freaky sex thing, you know what I mean? You, uh, uh, you, you get into cosplay and this kind of thing. And I, you know, I always thought like a, I would be a furry. What the, that's what they call them, but uh, I just. All right, thank you. I thought that these animals were probably the better, the more majestic. All right, all right. So. Moving on. Thank you. <laughs> Remind me not to ask him any more questions. No. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Kyle? Kyle just doesn't fit you. You look more like a Larry. Larry's mom, cool. There's, there's my uncle. Oh, okay, yeah, that's where I'm a bit confused. Because I got that intuition, you know, that sometimes can get into people's brains. Um, what do you, uh, where, so tell me about your uh, traditional dress. Where did you get this from? Uh, is it based on uh, a real Navajo, or is it, uh, is it just something that you got at the craft store? Well, no, you know, I looked around the internet, and, uh, you know, I've been, to some, I've been to some powwows here in the city, this is how I was in Chicago, and I was like, well, how do those Indians dress? And man, they got all kinds of things at the city powwows. I mean, it's just like, wow, I think they just went to Hobby Lobby and then hooked it up. It's like a freak show. Yeah, and so I was like, man, I got Hobby Lobby right down the street. I can do that. And you know, being how my mom was really good at crafts, and she can sew stuff together and all that goodness, well, she just like hooked it right up. You know, I'm her favorite. So, you know, she, just, she made it beautiful, I think, and I'm real proud of it. I'm going to pass it on to my kids. Tradition. What class are you? I'm a Hobby Lobby clan. <laughs> <laughs> are there any uh, questions from the crowd that, you know, you think you've been wondering you want to ask these guys? Please, I'll come around with the microphone. Yeah, here you go. What's your name? Rory Wakeup. Rory Wakeup. Now that is a traditional name. Strong. Strong. Okay, well, uh, I was just wondering, how do you guys think you're honoring Native people in, in this, in these outfits? 
Oh, we got some activists here. <laughs> you know, I, I think that that kind of question is really condescending. And I have to tell you that uh, white lives matter too. All right, look at me. Look at me. All right, I just feel like you're pointing the finger when you say something like that. I feel bullied again. I feel hurt on my inside. I, you know, you know, and I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. I see. You know, I hear a, uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, how they, uh, like there's not a lot of native representation out there, you know, in the media, and that's something that the so-called activists, you know, against mascots say. But um, I'm, I think I'm honoring you, like if I wasn't out there dancing around, <laughs> dancing around like an Indian, like how you guys do, um, like people wouldn't even know you guys exist at all. So it's like, you know, I, and in, in essence, I'm keeping on traditions that you guys just put down and stop doing anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, to piggyback off of that, that's absolutely right. I mean, if, if we weren't out here with this authentic representation of your people, then what do you have left? You got nothing, all right? I mean, you can look at that documentary Dances with Wolves, and that thing, that was pretty spot on with the, the music with Kevin Costner. I'm just following in those footsteps. And I didn't see you out there, you know, making a big deal out of that. Where are you sticking that microphone? <laughs> <laughs>